banned ban. on Twitter like me? I don't want to get house banned on Twitch of all places. So <laughs> not, not I'm, keeping yourself, I'm, I'm keeping y'all safe by not saying any expletive. But here we go. Once again, PS2, we are going in with the two link, the tried and true. And Eliakim coming in with the snake as always. And like you were saying, immediately with that little, the little wind bombs. Yeah. It's... Tune Link is such a weirdo, you know? Like, <laughs> he's like a child. <laughs> he is a literal child. A weirdo. <laughs> the, so, okay, how do I put this? Adult Link has a very much focus on, like, instant uh, manual utility yes. across the board. Because it comes with these, uh, his bomb is operated manually, it doesn't detonate until you say it, uh, and you confirm into your big, big sword. Young Link is all about the projectile play and using that to confirm. Toon Link is kind of like that, but just a little bit floatier, a little bit more like tilt focused, a little bit more like you want to either linger in the air a long time or you want to linger on the ground for a long time. It's very, like, it, it's a very interesting way to operate, but when you're able to master it and able to master like when you want to be on the ground, when you want to be in the air and the back and forth, then the results Ooh. speak for themselves. Yeah, that that uh, bomb throw into the up air was just not it's enough Snake for it. So, like, like we said, cartoon bomb versus I have a grenade is definitely gonna be the key asset in this uh, in this matchup right here. Again, both of them have explosives at their disposal, but Toon Link does have arrow, does have a uh, boomerang as well, which comes back eventually to him just like that. But we have to be really careful of saying standing too still for a little too long against Snake specifically because he knows where C4 is. You know, that's one of the biggest aspects. You have to be so aware of where the other projectiles are. There's going to need the platform as well. And C4, I don't even know where C4 is. Oh, it don't matter because you got exploded. Uh, the C4 is not on the stage present. Not right? anymore, yeah. Uh, no, it still sticks around after stock loss. Oh, okay. but uh, it's not there right now, and it may not be there for a hot minute. We do. It's easy to notice that Alikin generally prefers utilizing grenades as a, yep. as a utility, and C4 comes with like oftentimes on recovery or other useful. As there is, watch out for that side platform. He plays uh, Snake kind of plays a little bit like to link in the fact of like uh, bomb versus grenades. They're both. Uh, time explosives that eventually will go off into the same kind of com combo conversions that you can build off of them, i.e. a live cam grenade into up air, up, up air, both of them, bomb yeah. into up air actually, wait, hold on. <laughs> It's like it's so similar. I guess the the word I was looking for earlier, right? Like if Young Link is a I like to combo off of my projectiles, Toon Link is I like to frame trap off of my projectiles. Yes. Which Snake operates very similarly. Yeah, exactly. They both have the same kind of I want to put you in this very specific like uh, map, and I'm gonna get you off of that uh, with just how I work. But either way, try and get the up to off of the, uh, the off the platform as well. We gotta get off that plat as fast as we can, and even then, stepping out the attempted, I, be I believe, an up smash uh, startup with that grenade is doing so well for Lycan as well. It's just not letting Goober play the game the way he wants to. Okay, right. using the dash attack right there, we're seeing a little bit of recovery back to, back to ledge. The pressure of the bomb into the arrow. Look at the, the, the patience this man has. It's commendable. That's absolutely true. I mean, we're just seeing, like, how many times have we seen. That's funny. Uh, That's wow. really funny. Obliterated, honestly. Like, Actually, you can grab me, but be prepared to, to lose your own life in addition to. And um, absolutely. Cool. And I don't even think Elikim died to that. Like, like you can see when we get to the replay, it was just Goober just gone, obliterated. Oh, this is the first stock. Yeah, yeah O-Cycle yeah, through eventually. C4, yeah. Getting hit by the hot tub, and then this was the the little run. Some of these little run is really funny. He's, just, he's he, scurrying away. He, he's back. waddling to this place. There here it is. Yeah. This was really good, actually. I mean, it's the reason you have up tilt, uh, up smash, excuse me, as an option, like just instantaneously. Like it covers you, and if you're not ready to oh, time that the mortar, sucks. Oof. That sucks because Toolink is one of those throws where he physically moves his body. A lot of back throws are typically just the character spinning around or right. something like that. Toolink physically just goes back. So it's really, it really sucks that he was like, my back is on this grenade. Mm, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Let's hope that nothing bad will happen, right? If mm. I close my eyes. <laughs> if I close my eyes, I, I, I pretend to not see it. It did not yeah. exist. But what does exist is we are finally going onto a different, uh, different stage in general. Hollow Bastion, I believe, I like him. Came onto the stage earlier, um, in his set. So 
definitely familiar, familiar with the with the layout. Definitely has one stage, one uh, not one stage, one platform to at his disposal. And I think Goober really really enjoys this stage because of the fact that it's one platform. And we're not. We didn't see an uppy out of shield earlier when one could have came out for Goober to close out the stock. And now, I mean, the snake touch, right? If you don't take the chance to close out the game, put close out a stock against him. You're gonna oh, regret no. it, and you're gonna have to deal with Nikita. Great tech. Oh, great tech! Actually, being able to uh, mix up the ability to come back to the stage much faster than he was expecting to, and gain the stock for his efforts as well. Now, finally, Ooh. gaining a stock lead here. What well, can we see? Some extra credit, hopefully. So, with his edge guard, it's, uh, this edge guard he has right here. Ooh, I love these the the the, man up, the the boomerang into the up air. What can what else can we see here? Oh my goodness! Yeah, we're seeing just so many good confirms. Unfortunately, falling victim to the, just the Fastfall instant up tilt. Wonder if Goober was trying to read like, oh, you're gonna fastball spot dodge, I'll dash through you and like get some nice mix going. But yeah. I like him just ate him alive for his attempt. And is currently just racking on the damage. And oh the get up Whoa. attack armor through everything, but the damage is still racking on. The ledge trapping from Eliakim is this they just is, conclude. This is so unfortunate for Goober. He was doing just a great job, like keeping some extra credit for himself whenever he did lose that stock. And now Eliakim, just the way that Snake is able to just bring it right back to even in seconds is is really is the is the fall for Goober right now. Hopefully the side miss based on the dash attack and thankfully pairing uh shooting right through the four until it gives him a free grab uh, punish. Ooh, try, okay. Yeah, trying to have some mix-ups going, but the up smash comes out. Yeah. Again, no up B. Just really, really careful. Really much more cautious about using that out of shield option until he is absolutely certain it'll connect. Which is fair, and when you're playing as cautious, and you do have to do that against Snake. Who knows when something is just gonna trade randomly and you eat an up air for it? Might as well not take the risk. Yeah, you might as well not want to be any closer to the blast zone than you already have to be in, but while being on stage. A dash attack already setting him up, himself up for a Nikita. Oh, the, sh the pressure he was going to exhibit on Goober was going to be so great until Goober was able to come back to stage on ledge up once more. What can we do here? We have grenade in hand and par the parry into the F tilt. Not taking it quite yet, but again, the key is going to be the fall of Goober once more. Dropping the stock yet again. This should just be a forward throw, maybe an up throw? No, forward throw to set off stage. The bombs are coming out. The everything is uh, everything's online, but the percent is so high that you're just looking for a stray hit. Uh, bomb fair is not going to work. Bomb up air, nothing like that. Definitely not right now, just because of how high a lacking like percentage is. He should be pretty much living uh, a lot of the usual conversions that Toon Link really wants to go for either way. Oh, the, the, we're taking the claim, going into job one, two, and three. Arrow trying to get the uh, F tilt off of that. Just the patience from both players. By back throw type. Back throw kill, taking it. But all right, Elia Kim coming in aggressively with that dash attack. Yeah, looking for looking for something to get started, and that grenade trade will do it. Grenade into back air. The da the get up attack comes out, and we're seeing just yet further ledge trapping. <sighs> just the constant uh, get up attacks on neutral get ups, and again, when you are at 100% <laughs> as Toon Link, you are going to eat a foot to the face. Yeah, they, their, their feet connected at the bottom like soul to soul, and then he exploded. <laughs> <laughs> My foot will touch your foot, and the prophecy says you will explode. Look at that. L Just like that. Literally, literally they right literally there. They touch toes. Literally right there. Oh like, my god, they held toes like this. I'm so proud of them. Truly, footsies. <laughs> Thank you, Devin. Just Go like learn footsies. <laughs> <laughs> me, me went footsies. Me went footsies in real. In real. Just for free. It's just nice. a constant up tilt. Up tilt, up tilt. Does nobody know? It's like Fox up smash. Right. When you're above 100%, it is free. They're going to be looking for it. If you land above me, my foot is going... You know where it's going. So It's hard, right? Because when you have something like Fox up smash, like that's a tool that... You know, you can play around with shield. Like yep. shield generally is really good against Fox. You force him to grab you a ton. You force him to like try and catch landings and to make a play or to combo into it. Uh, in which case, you're looking out for Nair or something instead. Snake up tilt is so much less punishing just to like have out and about and it catching platforms, utilizing Snake's giant uh, tall hurt box as a tall model to its advantage. Like. It's it's just so it is one of the quintessential like just throw it out like sometimes out. like sometimes the threat alone can make your opponent like start start to slip up a little bit. 
Yeah, but we're not seeing I can slip up whatsoever. He is keeping it really even, but absolutely not. <laughs> Bro really wants his reset, and we might be seeing that slowly but surely if Goober keeps going in with these neutral getups, constantly being punished by Nikita, constantly being punished by the downers as well. And you saw Eliakim was ready for that as uh, again, but Goober thankfully going in with the air, the air more uh, the, the jump recovery from ledge. But he is just struggling to even keep it up, keep it above with with with, with uh, Snake. At 140, the down tilt as well. Shoutouts to Snake down tilt because we can talk for all day about Snake up tilt. M moves insane, but Snake down tilt being such a solid, solid poke at close yes. range at mid ranges, it just does so much of just Snake's boxing game. And the fact that it pops up as well, guaranteeing at least one grenade pluck, if not more, so so insane. And, we're well within grab kill percents. We're well within, oh like, just the harassment yeah. with Nikita. Just the game plan has never been uh, has never been seized, has never even been challenged by Goober thus far. He's able to keep up, but he's not able to ever, like, gain or maintain a lead. No, he's not. And you're seeing it again, again, once again. I said three times. Goober, it, that's, that's, how, that's how strong I feel about this. Goober has just not been able to keep a lead whatsoever. A lot of him is living to 145 to these ridiculous percent. And Goober is just unable to actually continue to get a throw or, or, I'm sorry, a kill off of anything he's really trying to go for. Because everything that Goober wants to do, he can kind of just do better. Finally getting the up tilt for that for his efforts. But again, can we see a lot of him keep, this, keep a lead going? Oh, finally, Goober coming in with a lot of really good sauce with the bomb into the... Um, into uh, the the fair. Yeah, it was like bomb nair forward smash. I think was the mm. combo, which was yeah, that's pretty good. One. <laughs> Respect that. Forward, okay. Yeah, it was nice. It was, it was, I just mashed forward smash into. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, it's nice. But the uh, the damage speaks for itself, right? Like snake can just trading off grenades. Grenades, I think, do like nine or ten per hit, like, and don't stale. Like it's just. It's evil. It's evil. Like this deck is so good, and we. I mean, we've seen it here with Eliakim. We've seen it. Overseas, there's some snakes, Akagaribi, Shogun, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen it at Frosty Faustings, like uh, Apollo Kage taking second after a game 10 grand with yes, Riddles. Yes, I've heard. I need to watch it. I need to watch that set. That sounds mm -hmm. flames. It sounds fire. <laughs> but either uh, way, what's also. This set's also super, super fire. Like, we know Goober's just a great tune. Like, it's just that what can he do against Eliakim, against Snake? He has the kid, he can follow you wherever you're going with that low recovery, high recovery, even just wherever you're trying to go. Beep. Nikita's gonna fall. He, he, Nikita's in your walls. Look at that back air. Just like one back air, and you feel like, oh yeah, done something, doing solid damage here. As the jump high recovery against yet again, but it's so tough. Like, cause uh, like Toon Link's up air is really solid and like can scale with knockback and does close out stocks. But because Snake can just reverse his momentum so easily, the safer tools to use are like Nair and back air, which don't, they don't kill. <laughs> so you're trying to harass these high recoveries with a move that doesn't break from Cypher and individual buttons that don't close out stocks. So naturally you're seeing the 140, the 150, the 180 marks climb consistently from Eliakim, who's looking prime to 3 0 this first set of grants. And also it starts to get into a start, it's the start of a reset as well. Look at this. The Nikita's coming in to haunt yeah, Cooper. Even if you air dodge it, th it dodge right through it. Five, eight, hero spin up. He's gonna be taking it, and the up. Oh, Goober, my Goober, come back, maybe. I see it. I don't see it. I see it. The match shot go crazy. <laughs> wait, uh, wait. Wait. The match was crazy. I was definitely expecting a you know a sleepy time into up tilt, but I'm starting to see Goober get some get some fire under his butt right here. Let's go. Get some I saw some percentage on like him, some solid drains, some Ooh. solid aerials as well. Well now what can we do here? Contesting with the bomb up into the air and getting the down smash for his efforts. I love that option because it goes forward and back. Yeah, covering all of that space, catching all of these roll-ins as well. Eliakim getting desperate for the stock hey, and eats a lot, eating alive for it. Hey, you know? Goober, where was all that? Bro was cooking! We're still in this set here, my own. We're thinking, like, maybe a corner has been turned from the side of Goober. Just like, hey, I can, I can still find pressure by just playing the dashback game, letting him get desperate, and finding better punishes upon when Snake is falling instead of when he's rising. Yeah. So hey, like, tracking is important. 
he got a little bit on that on that uh, up with the bomb, but look at this. Just wait, like you were saying, waiting for what Snake is going to do, and then be like, all right, I'm just gonna punish you for that. And now go for it. Goober just is waiting. Goober does not want a reset. Goober wants to go home. Purple. Goober is trying to get Urple. Why are you Urple? But we're on Galabash. <laughs> I was ready for a lot of things. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, my power, my mind. My my humor is like uh, ascended in another dimension. But either way, the stationary hero has been honestly okay. Again, Goober is trying to keep this game uh, game alive. Does not want to get a reset on this. Does not want to even drop him to lose for a second. He wants this win, he wants this, uh, this 3-0, and he wants uh, this 3-2, and he wants to get first place at this Arcadian. So, what are we going to do? We're going to be throwing bombs, we're going to be being more patient, and we're going to go Hollow Bastion. And we're going to be purple. We're doing all of that while purple, baby. Yeah, and while purple, baby! Oh, not able to catch that roll in, though. This a little bit of a scramble, but Goober is holding on to this lead ever so slightly. Again, trying to play around that. That up tilt was so good. The, oh, the, just Ooh. trying to drift around, Snake. Like, take advantage of your floaty nature. When, I feel like uh, we were making so many comparisons earlier in the set mod about, like, oh, Toon Link and Snake, like, they kind of play similar games. They kind of do, like, yeah. sim have similar ideas and similar, like, uh, thought processes, right? Well, one of the biggest differences is the fact that well, Snake falls extremely fast and extremely heavy. Toon Link, extremely light and extremely floaty. Take advantage of that. You have more time to spend in the air, more time to use bombs, more time to throw boomerangs, all of that good stuff, and a sweet set of sweet set of tilts on top of a back throw kill throw. Take advantage of these tools. Focus on what makes you different. And you're seeing that flowiness come in clutch in order to avoid uh, just just snake being snake. Look at that, and you can really see Goober finally getting a first stock like. Uh, in this set, uh, finally a lead of some sort and also with some percentage extra credit as well while he's slowly starting to build up some more rage. 124 is really scary to deal with as Toon Link and finally being a little also more uh, aware of these C4s and grenades. But again, Lai Kim can definitely take this, take this game back into his hair whenever he really wants. But that's Nikita, which has been Goober's, honestly, the thorn in Goober's backside for most of the game. Ooh, I like that sweep. Where was this? Where was it? Like, he had to warm was, up, bro. Had to warm up. It's true. Honestly. He had to warm up. Yeah, yeah low key, he, he had to warm up. Yeah, he had the game. He had one game as Toon Link in the previous set before switching to Byleth. Like is this, we were in warm up phase, and now we're in, now we're in Toon Link, the uh, Toon Link Village. We're in Kokoriko Village. So proud of him. Oh, yeah, purple Nurple Village. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, finally, his first talk is taken. I like him at 88%. And the, the game plan I like him was going for is slowly but surely starting to fall apart as Goober starts to get back into the swing of things as Young Link. Again, like Goober was saying earlier, we were playing Byleth like the Joker early in the match. So, should be seeing a little more of that, uh, that tooling flair that Goober brings to the character, as always. Yeah, well, I mean, part of that flair is these really, really brazen up smashes. I mean, Toon Link, again, we, like, zoner, trapper, heavy character, like, likes to cause a lot of frame traps. And these arrows, these bombs, all that stuff. Again. Sometimes, he'll just be up smashing, like, both dash in and on reaction. Instead of just committing to the hero spin, you know, you got, you got this big old move that covers so much base. Might as well go throw it out, especially if it's closing out stocks for you. That forward tilt could have set up something crazy. Another up smash into the up air that time. Into oh. two up airs, a third one. Not for that, but we're getting punished with the up F tilt for, their, for your troubles. Trying to get back to stage, unfortunately. But again, we have a little bit of a tether recovery. But oh, look at the down smash attempt. I see you, Snake. I see you. But finally, Snake is uh, I like him. and trying to get back to the group things as well on his own behalf. Trying to get uh, just trying to get hard reads on Goober. Trying to get some edge guards as well. Because we know Snake is so good at those. Uh, probably what he's best known for is those amazing edge guard situations where you're trapped with a C4 grenade and a Nikita on you. So, what can we see here? A whip up smash, but another one for your effort because two of them, the mi no mix and mix up, go kind of crazy. Yeah, he just mashing all some of these tools. Oh, the command grab comes out. C4 is stuck on him, <gasps> but he reads the roll back and gets the up smash after. Hey, Goober. Goober is alive. Goober. Goober. Hey, yo, bro Go is bro is patting his after. He's he's big chunk. He's been powered up. He's been powered up. You okay, saw that? This, it, this just looked like the face of Mercy. <laughs> <laughs> the slight look at the camera. Like. <laughs> <laughs> he heard me. He heard me. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> he was, look how calm and collected he is in the camera as well. He is, bro is not moved. And then he went to, he went to assess the Afro, but all right, make sure we're good. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> it's back on, we're fine. We're perfect. <laughs> 
We're green now. Ooh. Not the not the wolf how I'm sick. Greenwich. So here we go. TNC is the counter pick of choice for like him. And I can definitely see why. But guess what? This kind of favors both characters to an extent. You have platforms, you have so many uh, so many ways to do combo conversions into the side platforms, into the blast zone. But Snake is gonna be really weaving around these as much as he can. And Tomb Link's flowiness allows him to be on those platforms at all times. So like him should be eating pretty well with these at his disposal. But as I say that, Gooper is taking a solid lead right here. Ooh! That was scary. Yeah, the, literally, after all of the benefits that you were listing off, not, like the one downside, that high ceiling, meaning like grenade up air, just yeah. isn't going to be as beneficial. But these up airs from yeah. Gooper, same, same thing applies. It feels like this stage, honestly, like highlights what uh, like him was already doing well, while the extra space that it gives is going to give uh, Goober just a little bit more, a little bit more space to like set up some of these bomb poles in midair, like because you just have so much aerial room to go for. And Toon Link's jumps last a very long time. I also love that Goober is starting to recognize the moments where like him is really used to using uh, the first hit of F tilt into the second hit of F tilt. He's been dashing away as soon as he can whenever uh, whenever he comes a little too close to like. Him, and he's just he's just ready for that for that uh, start of F two, and finally Goober finding a way to get around these Nikitas, but not finding a way to punish the dash attack. And again, we don't matter because we're gonna keep it right back to an even game. We are two two last last game before a possible reset or last game of the night. And we'll have to see how it unfolds. A lot of the games prior had been like, oh, this is very assuredly one side or the other. Like, yeah. That's the nature of trapping mirrors, where it's like, oh, you have to now fall into my traps because I have a lead and we're just like taking our time around each other. But now a lot of those, a lot of your tools, a lot of your tricks, they're kind of exhausted at this point. It just comes down to like who has the better game plan, who has the better mm. like who has better fates almost. As we saw uh, Gooper earlier get caught for a very obvious empty land grab, and Eliakim uh, getting caught for a couple high recoveries. It's a very much a battle of discipline. It's about this, it's, it's about this plan. It's a battle of bombs on, in hand. It's a battle of grenades and it's battle. Oh, you said it's about Obama. It's like what? It's a battle of bombs. <laughs> battle of bombs. And a battle of can we punish? Can we just punish what uh, Snake's approaches as well? Trying to get a connection off of the off the uh, the bomb right there, but there is the now, and that means you're dead. Yeah, that's that is definitely that true. means you're dead. And regardless of ceiling height, C4 uh, is as strong, has as much knockback as True Shore you can. Are you serious? Yeah, it's not okay. That's not okay, actually. <laughs> that's actually not okay. I actually I didn't know that. I knew I forget, it was strong, but... I forget which True Shore you can. I don't remember if it's Ryu's or it's Ken's. If it's Ken's, it's crazy. I think it's Ryu's, but... It's, I, feel like if, I thought of Ryu first, so I'm going to say it's Ryu. <laughs> yeah, all right, fair. Um, but still, like, either way, craziness. And the parry on the jab as well. Goober not trying to fall too far behind, looking for one of these converters to crouch. Goober is playing a little bit too aggressively here. You're seeing that falter a little bit. Even the back throw kill is not enough. Now what can we see here while Eliakim like is trying to recover back to stage with no platforms and he's back to, back to stage and even center stage for his efforts. Triplat at his disposal. But High Slings keeps Gooper alive a little bit longer from the up to into the Keto. What can we see here? Oh my god, the patience. Just, just patience. The stalemate. Patience is patiently waiting, looking for the follow up. The up air trying to come out. That back nice. should do it. Yep, it does. We saw this happen in game number three. Does Goober have another comeback in his pocket? I swear to god, Goober. <laughs> if he had this in you the entire time, I know you were you were you were trolling. Is this a grade A troller or is this a grade A choker? He a has grade to be a, a winner. He's a troller. He's trolling right now. Just trying oh, to stay away. Everyone knows. So Everyone scary. knows the up tilt is coming. <laughs> we all know. The up tilt. Okay. Oh, the patience. <laughs> the patience in the shield as well. Trying to crawl under some of these dam oh, some of this damage. Okay, you already know. Like him, whenever he's trying to cover distance, he's trying to go for that dash attack, and Goober's exposing that fact of him. He's always shooting right through, just trying to be as patient as possible. You better land safely. Here comes the dash. I know it's coming. Patience is coming out, trying to be as safe as possible. Why am I scared? I mean, my heart's racing here, Ma, and I'm just watching these two play around each other. Ah! Oh, the grenade okay. saves him! Okay. Don't! No! Don't, don't, don't! No! Trying to land with neutral air, and it doesn't work out, and the falling back in his chair. As, Bro's laughing it off. Oh, it's okay. Oh. Reset, here we come, and... Wow, what a, <laughs> what a tense ending to game number five. Doing so well to play around oh so many of Snake's tools, but... Goober, oh. you're trolling! <laughs>
And we're finally here at a true grand. We are back at it. Now we are blue. Yeah. Gotta change skin. Gotta be ready. Gotta match your background. Gotta be ready. Oh boy, you are not going home tonight. No. No. No, you will be going home soon. So, here we go. Up to a final, a, a reset on the clock right here. This is true finals uh, on deck. So, we have Toon Link, we have Elijah Kim, we have Goober 707, specifically 707, not 708. So, we're on the other 704, six of them? I have no idea. <sighs> Elijah Kim is running off of a, a kind of a, a really, really close uh, uh, first part of Grands. And taking it, so he has a lot of adrenaline going off for him, and you can already see that he's taking a, some, some of a small lead against Goober, but a lead nonetheless. Yeah, it's already just a super tight opening to this, and I feel like both players are really starting to gain a sense of like, okay, this is how the matchup goes. Now, what have you got to mix me up? What have you got yeah. to change me? Because I'm not going to get surprised by much anymore. You've got to, after... What, five? Now the sixth game of the set? You, you probably should be aware, like, oh yeah, Toon Link, this is generally his game flow. Snake, this is generally his game flow. Mm -hmm. Is what we're both trying to do. We're both trying to get some frame traps going on. Yeah. And if I get it, if if I get it, you die. If you get it, I will live I'm Snake, and I live until like 170. <laughs> Honestly. So I'll be fine. <laughs> That's, it's so funny how sometimes base stats make all the difference, and... That is just holds true here. If you're not able to find exactly Excellent. things like that using the Zare for a tech chase, then if you're just trading straight hit for straight hit, Snake is gonna win that war of attrition. You've okay. gotta make it you've gotta make a play here. I love the Z drop bomb into the fair right there. Just get in just the combo that uh Cooper can just utilize with the bomb is so good. Alright, forty percent on him and on Eliakim. Kim. Eliakim Kim is starting to be a little more patient as well, even using the snake crouch uh crouch walk to avoid these uh the boom the boomerang and the arrow and of course the, uh, the where the bomb throws, trying to get a back throw off for his efforts, knowing that Nikita has been Goober's. Uh, Goober's honestly worst thing in this matchup, but Goober, the, a the adaptation is so good for him. Yeah, I like the pivot over to Pokemon Stadium, just to touch on the stage, right? Like, because you're surviving in a position of like long stage, uh, excellent mobility for the for the lot of you. Uh, oh, but the dash deck okay. does pull out the stock, and the side blast are pretty close to the stage, making up for the fact that you know the stage itself is massive. Uh, the still, stage itself is so big it's for so no big. reason, no reason at all. Everybody loves it though. Frame traps though. Yay, <laughs> frame traps, yay. Yeah. Goober has, oh, a lot of him has one stock left. I'm sorry, I just realized that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. double up tilt. That's what I mean when I say like Toon Link has an amazing set of tilts, like forward tilt, up tilt, like these are insane individual buttons. It just- They're buttons. It, it just becomes like they're kind of stubby. And it, <laughs> like- It's cause he's so little. That's exa but exactly. But you get high reward for actually being able to land those moves either way, because you're already seeing Gooper at two, a two stock lead, in fact, and almost lapping Lilacan in percentage in, uh, for his efforts. Because look at this bomb into the back air. What else can we see here? Oh, we're going to see an up tilt, but not quite uh, kill percentage quite yet. Ooh, back air not going to combo off of it, though. Some of these back airs could true confirm into up B or uh, some sort of other aerial if. Uber wants to set it up for it, but backer is largely bitch just like a positioning thing. A yeah. great mix up with the getup attack as well. It's hard to find ways to make space on Snake, and sometimes, you know, you catch him slipping. Ooh, the big Ooh, rip. Excellent spot dodge from Alikin to avoid the, the effort right there, but here we go, another bomb for your efforts, and you're just getting eating those to, to the face and like him. What does he have to do? Possibly we just regain Sanchez's control because Goober is just all over the stage right now, all over the ledge with these bombs, all over uh, the center stage with Boomerang, and all these pummels with the grab? Okay! Bro wants to be in his face! Yeah, he's, oh, that pummel is getting oh worse my now. 150, oh my God. now 160. Can we see a 170 or will Toon Link close out the stock first? Arrow, arrow, into the grab, that back might throw. Be... Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're gone. You're gone. <laughs> I didn't even see Snake move. He just, he just snap, fan yes. snap, gone. He, he kicked him with his little, his little leather shoe, and gone. He gone. <laughs> I need, I need a Sonic Fiend snap right here. I need a sound effect. Just whoosh, a snap. Bro is gone. Look at this. So many. Where's the match? Gone. Oh. Didn't even see his character. Bro had to go back home. <laughs> yeah, just. On. I give a really, that's a really nice snap. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's a really crisp snap. Crisp snap. I 
You know, it's I really like my snaps. Okay, okay good. Yeah, I think it's just Colin May. It's <laughs> 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 a really good snap. I'm jealous. <laughs> but either way, we're kind of picking over small battlefield double platform at all always, but we have a little bit of a smaller base platform, uh, which allows Snake to really be all up in you for uh, some of his some of his normals. Yeah, you're trying to force scrambles. Like yep. one of the biggest things that Goober was able to do was like find reaction punishes off of just like simple nair, like set up, like, setting up with things like Zare and like finding punishes off of like nair follow ups. Uh, that's all well and good, but Snake wants to put you into the mixer, wants to put you into the blender, not for combos, but for the fact that like if you press a button to try and contest, you get hit by a grenade. But if you don't press a button, I dash attack you. And that's, exactly, like, and that's the combo. That's the, like the we we gotta deal with. You gotta pick one or the other, or. You die. It, it yeah. really is a simple fact of life. Smash Brothers, this, this, this Smash Brothers thing is, 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 is serious. You yeah. die for it. Yeah, if, if you die in game, you die in real life. It's so true. You have three stocks. Three stocks is one of what third of your life. <laughs> Each stock you take, you, a little part of your, your years go off. But either way. What's the Sphinx riddle? What walks on four legs in the morning? Two legs in the afternoon and three legs in the evening. A Super Smash Brothers game. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I love how you just knew that, but what I do know, a lot of can down and stop. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, it is. True we're, finals. We're setting up for a very long grand final. <laughs> we are. Or true finals, even. Xeno Arcadian, a four quarter one, trying to mix, but that down air to shield is going to shut down any cross up attempt that Goober tried to go for. Yeah, no, bro is not cooking. And bro is not, no, he's not letting him cook whatsoever, trying to get the up air as well, but thankfully, he's gonna connect it with another up air just for funsies because tooling up air and down air are so oh, his aerial is so so good, so good for no reason. And also, just arrow just making sure that uh, we're gonna bait out that uh, that shoe from a light came and on and then get a grapple grab for 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 free. This is, Goober's playing mind games. He's playing mind games right now. And he's got a real those mind games really are paying off, man, because he's got a real good uh, beat on these tech chases. I haven't seen him miss a tech chase since like game two. And that's and that's when Goobers really that's started. Scary. That's when the set really began. Because games one and two were all Eliakim. Oh man, you saw Eliakim try to charge up the down smash after the grab too, but it was still a little bit too late on it. Goober was able to roll right away from the uh, the, hit the hitboxes of that. But what we're going to see here, oh, an instant up tilt is definitely going to be taking it. But Eliakim once again, a repeat of, ga of game one actually where suddenly Lycan was only one stock and Goober is really fresh, uh, freshly st uh, two stocked right here. Yeah, Goober really was trolling because it looks, he looks, in, he looks in control. <laughs> <laughs> Bro was trolling. Oh, okay. Try to get the neutral get up. Hit the uh, grenade instead. Gave him a free hit stun for Lycan to come in. So Lycan should be really eating pretty well right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we're we're watching like Goober just slowly like yeah. take advantage of the trade of, of the trade war that Snake naturally puts himself in. It's like okay, I'm a stock up, so like the the positioning that Goober was afforded is able to set up for platform chases like that. Super nice stuff off of the grenade. Goober's a troll. I'm Go convinced. Goober's low key a troll. Goober's the biggest troll in this venue today. <laughs> Man, there's no way. There's no way. Insane. Right? I don't believe it. It's he, so it's so bananas to have to watch Goober like just slowly get it, and sometimes you need the time to get it, and sometimes you watch it pay off. Unfortunately, I am I live in Jersey still, so I need to catch a train. <laughs> <Still. laughs> so I'm going to be pivoting off for Swiss. So, but I'm still here, of course. So while they're switching out nice and efficiently, my bestie Swiss is coming on the mic in a second for this true finals possible last game scenario. Get home safely, Ubo. I love you. Hello, Swiss. I'm Hello. so glad you're here. Oh my god, is this like waypoints? <laughs> Basically, we're at waypoints. Yeah, hey. But we are in true finals. We have Goober 707. Uh, you, you already know Toon Lee. We got the herbal skin going on. Oh, god, And of course, yes. we have Snake Eliakim from Westchester. Uh, a reset from Eliakim, but Goober 2 up. Oh, very exciting. Well, Eliakim, I must be pretty much fighting for his life over here. I mean, he, he was has like 2 2, yes. and like now it's possibly tournament points. It's, it's possible tournament point. You see Goober get the warm up, get the ready for this this reset that he probably didn't want to sign up for. <laughs> right. Oh, but the Nikita's out. Some grenades. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, basically.
battle of the bombs, battle of the grenades, battle of the projectiles, really, and who can get the, the frame track first, honestly. Exactly. So who do you think has kind of lost their gas? Because, you know, we, I heard Ubel talking about battle of attrition. I mean, right now it's just battle of, like, fortitude, really. Mental, yeah. physical. I think a lot of him kind of gone through that incredible loser's run, although gained the stock here, going through a loser's run uh, of, of his caliber, as you can see on the tablet right here, he had to go through a lot of great players uh, here at the as you know, Arcadian, and I think he's slowly running out of gas as Goober finally gets uh, his warm up from his break he had for two sets uh, right. in grand in, uh, in in finals. Well, he took out some really good people: Lime, Beats, yeah. Joe, oh, two Joe Jokers, yep. two Jokers. My goodness! And Diddy Kong, he had a lot of great players. So. I like him. Hopefully, right now, I can see a turnaround into a possible game three of uh, game four um, in favor of like him. Maybe Especially game with the... five? <laughs> I'm always hopeful. Maybe a game five. But I think Goober's starting to get a little bit too antsy here, a little bit too aggressive. You can see him getting punished for things that he should be avoiding, uh, but he was avoiding in these first two games. Right. Some very nice extra credit. Great body bag there. Oh. I love the down air usage from Elia Kim using that as a punish tool against uh, Goober. Should be should, should be seeing a ooh, yeah. but those raw up smashes. Yeah, oh. that's what Goober's so good at. Just getting a really good up smash read. It's almost like he has snakes like up tilts, only no, in literally. sword form. We were talking about that earlier as well. They're they're very similar. It's just that tooling a little bit stubby. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's still a sword. It still hurts. It still hurts. It kind of wish Nikita. Hmm. Nice dash there. Yeah, absolutely. Goober, had, Goober at first was like folding to Nikita's over and over again, but now he can weave right through them, knowing that there's like a, a limit before it, uh, it basically doesn't work anymore. All right. Goober being very careful playing around the C4, avoiding us. Against your dash attack. Not going to take him quite Nikita. yet, though. Again, another Nikita and the tether grab is going to be coming in for a free. Another back throw. Can we see a situation here? Oh, well, looks like Goober's trying to close this out as mm. soon as possible at 150. Snake can pretty much sneeze and Goober will be out. But then again, he has lived until like 190 before, so, yeah. you know, resilient to and link over here. <laughs> I love Lycan's use of the crouch, but again, grab is going to be taking you no matter if you're crouching or standing, so right. you have to be careful with that. I mean, what is it good for? Pretty much is like avoiding the arrows. Mm -hmm. It was cute the first time. I think uh, Goober's pretty much uh, caught on to it by now. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Look at this. The pressure of the grenade, trying to get the forward Ooh. tilt and connecting the second hit of it on the shield drop. All right, Eli Eliakim? Eliakim. Eliakim, yep. Eliakim, one stock up. Playing one. very patiently. One stock up, but Out this of could gas, be he's going to really prove good. us wrong. He better be wrong. He was playing so well. I love watching Eliakim. Last time I, wa I watched him play was at Defend the North. I uh, got to commentate him, and he was a phenomenal Saint player. So I really want to see him take it to another game five uh, with how well he plays as this map, this uh, this character. But Goober is starting to pick up that speed once more. I'm missing the rollout from the platform for the, da the down oh, air. I don't think the C4 is on Toon Link, but that was close. Is it actually? I, I don't I, think I, so. I couldn't tell. It might have been dropped on the platform. The pressure of the grenade on ledge again, Nikita, and we're going to be punishing you. Why are you in that stance? Get out of it. Get oh, it's on the floor right there. Yeah. Okay, he's... Oh, oh, very close. Nice jump out from the range. Really? Where we... The, oh, the re, the okay. Re okay. I see. But I don't. But I see. Wait a minute, though. That should C4. explode any moment now. Let's see for right there. I know. We're keeping it really far from uh, from Eliakim. Does yep. not want to get land on C4. That's what Eliakim's looking for. Well, I can also avoid it because yeah, it can kill. Okay. Yeah. That Lane was safe. safe. <laughs> See if we can reset it here. Ooh. Oh, up till that's. All right, game uh, four. Let's go. Game four. All right. So, what do you think is going to be the optimal counter pick here? Oh, they're not counter picking. Oh, they're not counter picking. They're just oh, doing stage running back. Yeah, stage, stage they, wise. They, yeah. I'm sorry. They might, they might <laughs> run it back. They've been going consistently Hollow Bastion, PS2, and Small Battlefield. Right. So we might be seeing Hollow Bastion again and might be seeing Small Battlefield. I don't think they want to go back to PS2 because it gives. I think it gives Toon Link too much opportunity to run around. Right. Oh um, my god, as you can see there, Goober dropped yeah. his shield. That pressure is just insane. Like you see the grenade, down tilt, more grenades. Yeah, right there. Very he dropped He dropped it right there. If he held it, or if he just moved it slightly to the right, I think he could have lived that. Yeah. Oh, he tried to grab. Ah. He tried it.
He tried. Good effort. It didn't work. That's all right, but it's going to work. Maybe this like game I said, right here. Hollow Bastion is the kind of pick of choice for Goober. Hopefully, this is where he is going to take this set and run with first place as an Arcadian, or else we're going to be seeing another fifth game. Oh, but baby. Before there, we got to get to this fourth game. All right, lots of grenades, lots of bombs. Yeah. Uh oh. Lots of each from these both these characters, but biggest thing you're gonna see is are you gonna get fumbled by the bombs? Or are you gonna use that to your advantage as a visual kind of disruption? Um, and like a smoke cloud to an extent. Yeah, very interesting that Elliot Kim is actually not cooking the grenades, he's just letting them drop. For the most part. Kind of making a minefield out of this. Oh no, he lo he definitely drops grenades more often than like most snake players. Just because things is a versatile character that anyone can play them however they really want. A lot of Kim uses grenades more often than C4, and you see that with how many times this should be a counter. No, there shouldn't be. Of how many times he has grenade in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So he's forgotten CQC. He's all about them grenades now. Yeah. Uh oh. C4 on Toon Link, I believe. Yeah. Yep. All right. There he goes. You know, C4 sparingly, but when he uses it, oof, makes all the difference. It's it's it's, it's one hitting games. Uh, that C4 either on the ground and Toon Link. I saw one where Toon Link rolled what? back for a back throw and he landed on the C4 in oh. his animation, and I was like, wow. Nice grenade bounce there. Not very utilized. Well, all right. Oh, cool. I like that. Yeah, Goober should be able to hopefully bring it back to more even games. Stock wise, uh, if you're able to connect this bomb. No, we're not going to connect it. Maybe an aerial of some sort. Anything we be able to keep him in this game a little bit longer. Yeah, he hasn't really been punishing that Cypher uh, when he's offstage, kind of coming either from below or horizontally. I yeah. think a missed opportunity there. Another bomb for your efforts. Boomerang and an aerial. Love the pairing from Eliakim, uh -oh, but we're but not going to pair that conversion. bomb into the aerial. The Goober conversions go crazy. Yeah. You know this. <laughs> you know this. I've seen it all match. We've seen it all the time. Goober conversions, love them. I know Lycan hates them. <laughs> All right. Looks like Goober's playing here. Goober's a troll. Immediately evening it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, but that up tilt put him in a good position. Up tilt's such Ooh. a fast, strong move as well. Once Goober's above, like, what, 90? Should be able to take down Hollow Bastion. Oh, you can hear the crowd screaming from over here. They're, sc they're, they're scared out there. There's side. I know there's side bets outside, waiting for so someone's gonna lose five bucks today. Five dollars. Someone's gonna lose like at least half a sandwich. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's a big egg cheese on a croissant. No, it's like that's like big egg cheese is like five fifty nowadays. Ugh. I know. Inflation. I know. Look, I remember like asking like, hey, like it went from like four dollars to five dollars. Is it ever gonna go down? They laughed. They laughed. They laughed I'm at me. <laughs> oh, that bathroom might be able to take him, Hell Bastion? No, no he's heavy. DI. He do be a heavy, thick man. Right? Oh, same way as Rob. Oh, oh my same way as Rob. Oh, okay. Yeah, Rob, Banjo, and Snake. Laugh my ass off. Little did you know, clones are actually Ooh, robots. Love that tech right there. Just literally save Goober for a little bit longer. Hopefully, be able to, able to take the second stock off of a uh, can Maybe a punish on the. No, my back they're finally taking it. Okay. All right. Back they're taking this. This could be. This is all Goober has to do. One more stock, and he wins. Oh, literally one more stock. Well, Elliot Kim looking to take out the final one. C4 is on the right side, folks. Pay attention, because Elliot Kim sure is. And Goober Baby as well, but look at him staying on the left side for a reason. That, that, that C4 is a threat and a half, and it's so noticeable on this stage. There's no excuse. Goober, you're a troll! You're oh, a troll. Oh, great reversal there. Sleep. Okay, what are we going to see? Ooh. Oh, trying to get it down the uh, uh, up attack. All right. Oh, okay. okay. C4 is off the playing field. For a little bit longer until he gets stuck onto Goober and then he's dead. Hey, well, why are you calling this out right now? God, I'm <laughs> scared. I've seen it happen too many times. You see oh, how? Look at, this, look at this! Look at this range Goober's playing at. He's not playing around oh. these bombs or these C4s. Stop it! Get out of there. Ooh, Love great the Z. Love the poke. All right, trying to find a safe place to land. Unfortunately, Snake always having trouble with it. Oh, dropping the C4, not catching anything. Throwing it. Oh, getting caught with his own grenade. Ooh, Ooh that's, dangerous. Oh, that, that's extra five percent damage on like him. Uh -oh. Snake is heavy, but he's not invulnerable. He, no, he this might could be dead. it. You're dead. You're dead. No! You died earlier! Okay. 193. 193. One more back though, we we'll definitely take it though. Four tilt? Ooh. Oh, that's it! 
And that's it. And your Xeno Arcadian winner is Goober707 with the blue Toon Link specifically. Oh, uh, congratulations. Congratulations. Wow. I'm going home at midnight because of you, uh, but it's okay. You had a great, that was a great finals uh, grand and reset. Like, hello. Oh my god, yes. Like, look at this. Oh, honestly, I think that was my favorite moment because the C4 right there was like cheeky. I don't think he noticed it. I didn't and, notice it either until yeah. he exploded off the screen. Right there, just perfect. In the air, can't that. dodge, nothing. Can't do anything. You are dead. I right, over here, Goober finally bringing mm -hmm. it back. We and saw Gustav, a great conversion. And good stuff on Elijah came as well. I'm, I'm so, I like him as well because I love when Rush comes down to New York City events. And it's like, I'm so glad I got to see you again uh, after DTN. Come back, bring Bobo with you. Yeah, hopefully it's not too much of a trip to Westchester. It is a trip to Westchester. Oh, I am so That's sorry. So, Lily Salty Fun has told me that he drives to the train station. Oh, he drives? Oh, no, no he goes no, no. to the train he station. He goes to the train station and oh, then takes okay. a train down Manhattan and stuff. Because uh, it's, it's not even worth driving down here. That's so, fair. Super, super, super good stuff for uh, Goober taking it over like him. But you know what that means? You two. You two. You two. Okay, hold on. I Not need, us. I need. You uh, two can no longer enter an Arcadian because you got top two. <laughs> so get out of here. <laughs> nah, we'll, we'll see you at Xeno Weekly. See you at Xeno Weekly or Xeno Saga, which will be announced soon. But in March the 4th. meantime, March, March 4th. 4th. Oh, March 4th. March 4th. March 4th. Next Xeno Saga, uh, literally by the day next month. Yes. So get ready. Westchester, I better see you. Philly, I better see you. I better see all of you at Xeno Saga. So in the meantime, my name is gone. That means I gotta go home. I'm and being I'm kicked so off. Sorry. I'm gonna go home too. Uh, we're gonna go home. This is Swiss Rider. <laughs> I, I thought I'm you were uh, with an extra A at the end on Twitter. I will see you guys later. I'm gonna go home and play Overwatch 2. Overwatch 2? Overwatch 2. I might join you actually. <gasps> oh my goodness, good. <laughs> Let me eat first. Bye-bye.